hello everyone in today's session we are going to start with the pop up boxes so uh, basically pop up boxes can be used to raise an alert or get the user confirmation on certain thing or to get an input from the user ready right? basically there are three types of pop up boxes available with the javascript which is alert confirm and prompt we are going to see each and every in detail we'll start with the alert so the alert box is used if you want to make sure information comes through the user so user have to click on a button okay to proceed so you or she can only access the page if they click on a button okay and reads the message you want to display so this can be used to display the result of the validation or in that matter it can be used anywhere where you want to make sure the information is read by the user so how we can use it it's very simple just need to start a script tag because it's a javascript function and we can use that function alert it will have one argument a string argument we can pass a message over here the message which we want to display to the user so it will display output something like this we may have seen certain pages like a certain output like this page says and the message so let's see how we can use it if i want uh, some message to be displayed in uh, before the uh, other content we can simply specify alert here hello world from the alert right you can write something like that and we will run this page it will display the alert uh, the display of the alert will be different in different uh, browsers like if you are using chrome it will be different output if we are using mozilla it will be different output right so basically you have to click okay then and then you can see the next page the you can access the page right you have to click on a button okay so this is the alert box which can be used to display the result of the validation the next is confirm box when you want a confirmation from the user whether they like uh, before deleting anything you want to make sure the user click okay button uh, to delete or they can cancel that particular action something like that we want a confirmation from the user side okay uh, the, uh, when the confirm uh, box pops up the user will have to click either on okay or cancel to proceed if user clicks on okay the box returns true and if user clicks on the cancel button the box will return false so using this uh, boolean value we can uh, like uh, we can conclude that whether user want to continue with this uh, uh, process or not right let's see an example we can use something like this uh, we are storing uh, we are creating one variable named a in that variable a we are uh, like uh, asking user are you sure if they click on ok button the value of a will be true and user accepted will be uh, the alerted to the user otherwise user cancelled let's see an example for that here i can simply use variable a equal to confirm and i can write any message which i want to display to the user are you sure you want to delete something like this and the output of this i can use in my condition like let's say i'm specifying your file is deleted or alert user cancelled the delete operation right and when i run this file it will ask me are you sure you want to delete if i plus cancel it will alert user cancel the delete operation and if i refresh the page and again i am saying are you sure you want to delete i am specifying yes then the file will be deleted so uh, currently i am just specifying alert here i can write a code to delete the file or i can simply specify anything uh, in uh, here if user press okay this particular condition will be executed and if it's uh, press cancel this particular block will be executed so this is how we can use confirm box and the last is a prompt box when we want input from the user we can use a prompt box ready when the prompt bo uh, box pops up user 
have to click either on OK or cancel to proceed. If user clicks on OK button, the box will return the input value. And if user clicks on the cancel button, it will return null. Ready? Uh, let's see an example how we can use. For example, I want uh, like I want to check whether the uh, number user have entered is prime or not, or simply even or odd. Right? We are using creating uh, in the previous session. We have created uh, one program to check whether the number is even or odd. Right? Similar. If I want to use here if a modulo 2 equal to equal to 0 alert or in that case we have written document dot write number is even and in else I am specifying document dot write number is odd ready so when we run this file we'll get the output number is even so what I want here is I want the value of a to be dynamic. I want to ask this value from the user. So what I can simply do, I can use one function which uh, which is a pop-up box prompt, and I can specify the message enter value. Here any message, the message we read right here will be displayed here enter value, and we'll have one input. Ready? Here I can specify the value and that particular value will be assigned to A. Right? But here there will be a problem. When I click on OK, it will display odd. When I uh, give input 12, it will give me even. But when I give cancel button, it will give me even number. So what I have to do is I have to use this particular concept that if user clicks on a cancel the box will return null so I need to check whether this value of a is null or not and according to that I can display the message right you can continue that uh, when you practice this right so the output will be something like this so these all are the uh, pop-up boxes which uh, sit with the JavaScript which are alert confirm and prompt okay thank you